me some of my video. What the hell I go? Logan Paul sued Logan me. Logan Paul is suing me for CryptoZoo only a year after he thanked me for it. Rather than pay back his victims fully, Logan Let's would go. rather publicly humiliate himself in court by accusing me of defaming him. He's hired five lawyers to sue me, which he hopes will stop me from exposing him again. You see, only five. hours before this lawsuit was filed, I had reached out to Logan Paul about a new investigation into one of his companies, which has just been accused by the Canadian government of being a multi-layered fraud in Canada. I obviously had questions, but before I was able to get answers, Logan's team of lawyers showed up to silence me. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to go through uh, cool. this lawsuit. I'm going to tell you how to support us if you want, because while okay. I didn't think I'd need help, I was wrong. But before we get to my mistake, let's start with Logan's. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This let's lawsuit go. is not about Logan Paul getting defamed. Instead, this is about okay. him trying to dodge let's... accountability, victims, and blame anyone but himself for his problems. Why isn't Logan just taking the L, man? Why isn't Logan just taking the L? He has the money, man. He does have the money. Just take the L, brother. Stop making it worse for yourself. Especially <laughs> me. This lawsuit says Logan Paul wants to hold me accountable for my actions. But what, what actions are those? Holding him accountable? What? It's ironic because his lawyers claim Logan has learned to believe in the importance of accountability. But accountability That's for funny. who? Currently, <laughs> Logan's sunny. fighting the victims of CryptoZoo in court, and now he's fighting the journalist who exposed him in the first place. Personally, I believe Logan has learned nothing from this except nope. how to silence people with the law. <laughs> he really... Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I really was here and thought Logan was already at his worst, but nope, he's getting worse. Bub love thee? <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Oh. But I won't be silenced because Logan's lawsuit makes no sense. We're going to go through it because from the beginning, there's problems. Logan's <laughs> I'm sorry, but chat, do you see his muck? Freshly cried for tears. I love makes this. Makes no sense. We're going to go through it because from the beginning, there's problems. Logan's five lawyers tried to discredit me as a journalist. They paint me as someone who wanted money. They say I had a false and malicious narrative. But you know mm -hmm. who doesn't believe that? You know who uh, secretly the internet? praises Everyone? me behind the scenes? This journalist, YouTuber, crypto uncoverer guy named CoffeeZilla, who's incredible, by the way. A very thorough, um, good-hearted, smart guy. What? Did <laughs> huh? What? Did a deep dive into this project that I attempted to make called CryptoZoo. That's right, it's Logan yeah. Paul. He's the biggest enemy of Logan Paul's defamation case. <laughs> you know who doesn't want to believe this? The sponsor of this video. <laughs> Speaking of right? Who knew? Because defamation requires actual malice and a reckless disregard for the truth. But he just admitted on camera that I am thorough and good-hearted. Maybe that's why he wanted to remove that video from the internet, according to the YouTuber who released it. The only issue that was ever communicated was remove this crypto stuff, remove this crypto zoo stuff. If crypto zoo okay. is in there, if CoffeeZilla is in there, I'm not going to promote it. Yeah, remove that crypto zoo stuff, that CoffeeZilla stuff. Doesn't look good when you compliment the guy you're trying to oh sue. Oh boy. Maybe that's why Logan isn't even suing me for my original investigation at all. Despite most of this lawsuit <laughs> What's he being suing a him ridiculous for? fanfic about how I took Logan out of context. Calling it a fan fiction is wild. Oh my God, I love this. That Logan was a victim, that I withheld text messages. Logan isn't suing me for any of the original investigation though because he knows he can't. Instead, <laughs> at the end of the lawsuit, we find what my defamation really is. I'm being sued for two videos and one tweet where I advocated for refunds for the victims. Lamau, Lamau. Yes, you heard me right. Logan Paul Le sued me after I tried to get his fans, the CryptoZoo investors, a full refund. Remember no, that's a real bad look. No, that's a bad Remember, look. He knows he can't. Yeah, he just the knows. NFTs and the zoo tokens, and Logan chose only to refund the NFTs, which is a minority. Dude, I remember. Oh my god, I remember watching this entire first story. 
Chat, I was literally watching this video on my way to the air. Like, on my way to the airport to pick up Exigon. I remember this first dropping, like, what was that? Two years ago? I remember Asmongold watching the first big video on this man. This is so wild. And now here I am. Here I am watching the saga continue on my own with you guys. Oh my god, this is amazing. Of the losses, and I had a major problem with that. I told Logan this, I've stated over and over my opinion, that it is disappointing for someone as rich as Logan to not make things fully right, and instead yeah. only pay back a small part of the losses while fighting the rest of the victims in court. And it's Ridiculous. those videos and tweet where Douche I back. ask for refunds, which I'm being sued for. The first video in question is about Logan Paul not paying out refunds for six months. The second video was about Logan's partial refund, having a clause to make sure you couldn't sue him for the rest of your refund. And the tweet, I simply huh. said, Logan's the type of guy to thank you for exposing his scam and block you when you remind him to pay up. I mean, yeah, That's so now. Funny. If you don't bring Kinder Shoko Fresh again at the airport again, I'll be sad. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, he's the type of guy to then sue you. Now, I'm sure Logan doesn't like it when I say things like Logan's victims or Logan's scam, but I have a question. If they're not Logan's victims, whose victims are they? Even Logan admits they are victims. He told me via text, just thought we had the same goal of helping victims instead of a divisive social media war. So he agrees people have been wronged by his game. You know, the thing that he said will earn you money. It's a really fun game that makes you money. So how are these not Oh, Logan. Logan's victims. He, of course, would say it's his business partner's fault. But remember, course, Jake and course, Eddie have course. been out of the picture for years. And yet, CryptoZoo hasn't been released. <laughs> King, despite remember that guy? Logan constantly promising it and, of course, also threatening to sue me. We're going to handle this ourselves while we continue to build CryptoZoo, and I'll see you in court. By the time this comes out, it'll be done. The game's going to be made. You're going to have the opportunity to get your money back if you want, if you don't want to play the game. And I'm going to take care of the people who made me look like it. it. CryptoZoo is coming. I swear. It's coming. This was a scam perpetrated by me. It's not a scam. Right. It's Logan a game. wants to sue me and release a finished CryptoZoo game. But he's only done one of those. Since Logan <laughs> can't blame his partners, Jake and Eddie, for this because they've been out of the picture, do you think he'll take accountability for not launching CryptoZoo? No. This time, <laughs> he blames the government. <laughs> He says releasing CryptoZoo has COVID? too do, many yeah. regulatory hurdles. Maybe they should have thought of that before multi-millions of dollars of zoo tokens and eggs were sold. And now Logan would rather blame the government than take accountability. Or if you let him keep talking, Logan might rant about internet reporters having too much responsibility. I can't. I can't. Ability. These internet journalists, internet investigative reporters have way too much responsibility on their hands that is being mismanaged and wielded in a really inappropriate way. It's honestly funny to watch this guy whine about his problems, which you can barely hear over what sounds like a private jet. <laughs> Taylor Swift looking ass, man! Which brings me to another problem Logan has. Part of any defamation case is damages and proving someone has harmed your reputation. But isn't Logan richer than ever with Prime? And uh, did yeah. he have a reputation? Did you guys ever try Prime? I'm still in offense of trying it at one point, just, you know. We have it here in supermarkets, actually. Like, some people do sell it here. It's so funny. It's so funny to me. Nope, don't. I don't want to try it, though. <laughs> I've never tried Prime. It's ass. Is it? Have harmful food dies, Jesus. I mean, you know, e regulations protect me in this case. <laughs> I tried five different versions, only one was okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> Speaking of Prime, <laughs> thanks on the Prime sub, Max is green. <laughs> Max is green just subscribed with Prime. Prime is super sweet Kool Aid. I never had Kool Aid. I don't even know if we have Kool Aid in Europe. <laughs> Sugar, like eating sugar bricks, ew. Maxis is a prime, yeah, 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 he's a real prime, he's a real prime.
Cry Prime One's lead content immediately turns into a uh, Jinx. <laughs> Prime is like those cheap uh, sports drinks with added sugars and chemicals. Like, uh, so, well, what's it called? Something Raid? Uh, sp uh, sports Raid? It's not Gatorade. I'm not thinking of Gatorade. Uh, it's the, like the shit. I, I don't remember what it was called. Uh, let's continue. Patient to him. harm. His lawsuit shows comments calling Logan a scammer, possibly to suggest All right, yes, he's that been one. hurt by my videos. You. But you have to have a reputation to lose one. And by yeah. the time of my reporting and like, and also, isn't the defamation only there if he actually lost him some, but uh, some 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 like his image or something like that? Which was already damaged. He just brought light to it, man. Like, and he didn't lie about anything, so... <laughs> Logan isn't getting anywhere with this. Question. Logan Paul was already accused of participating in multiple crypto pump and dump schemes. Pump that article schemes. does not reference my work. So Logan had Why already no? had a reputation as a scammer before my investigation. At That's least crazy. if you believe their allegations. So this lawsuit from beginning to end is groundless, meritless, frivolous. And Logan knows that because behind the scenes, in clips, he didn't want to get out. He's saying, I'm thorough and good hearted. But in public, mm. he wants to sue me, silence me, and cost me money. Because that's the one department where we both know he's got me beat. We might have facts. We might even have evidence. But he's got all the money and the lawyers. That is true. He does have all the money and the lawyers. Damn. Really do be a skill issue. And this is where I have to get to my one embarrassing mistake in all of this. See, my defense against rich people like Logan Paul is media insurance, you know, yeah. for frivolous lawsuits. So when I was sued, I immediately called my insurance company to file a claim so hmm. I wouldn't have to pay for it. But they told okay. me they're not gonna pay. They're trying to oh. get out of covering us using lawyers huh? and fine print. It's a long story that I will be explaining on my second channel because insurance underwriting is very boring but suffice to okay. say i got dylan danist i may have even gotten scammed i'm not suffice to wait, say wait, wait, what i got dylan danist i may have even gotten scammed i'm not quite sure for now wait, what? the bottom line is we have to fight logan with our personal funds uh, oh shit he got insurance scammed by his insurance company quote unquote Which oh means lord I need to ask for your support. If you <laughs> Corbin, thanks for the tier one. Thank you for the two months. Corbin six thousand seven hundred and seventy-eight just subscribed for two months. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Want to help and are able to help? There are two ways to contribute to our fight against Logan Paul. One, you can join our Patreon, which supports the channel, or you can buy exclusive merch at <gasps> coffeezilla.store. Yo! Where we just the Choo -choo. Choo -choo. That's right. Life hands you lawsuits. You get rejected by your insurance. Make merch. So here's the deal. <laughs> the shirt will be available life. for pre-order for only the next 14 days. And 100% oh, of- Oh, the cat! Dude, I can't wait for him to continue the series, man. That was so sick. Profit we make from selling them will go to this lawsuit. If for some weird reason there's money left over, it will be Adoration. dedicated to future That's legal costs for Where this channel. Water? I just want to let you know yeah. they're available and it's a cool way to support the lawsuit while also getting something in return. I didn't want to just set up a GoFundMe. So if you want to do that, just know pre-orders take a few weeks to get done because we make them after you order. And remember, you have 14 days and you can get that at coffeezilla.store. I'll link that below. There you it's coffeezilla.store. All right. Now we're going to shift gears and talk about the final part of this lawsuit. Lawsuit timing. Why did Logan Paul sue me now? It's been huh. over a year since he apologized and thanked me. Thank you, Coffeezilla. I am very. Yeah, and this entire story is like two years old, one and a half years. I don't even know. It's been so long. I'm grateful for your work Why now? And your investigation. And I mean that. Thank you, bro. It might seem strange, but I've got some fun facts okay. for you that may or may not be related. Did you know? Oh, six yeah. days before the lawsuit, I had featured Logan Paul in a teaser for a video. Did you know 21 hours before the lawsuit, I had texted Logan for comment? Did you know uh. I told him he had 24 hours to respond and Logan sued me three hours before the deadline? 
Yep. Like and That's... subscribe to the Pick Me Fox. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Right. Logan's lawyers then threatened me in that lawsuit email that if I report on this new story, Thanks Logan might days. hold me accountable. And Logan's definition of accountability seems to mean he'll sue me, which is why I believe this lawsuit was not designed to win, but to shut me up, to threaten me, using Logan's wealth and a federal court system without anti-slap to send a message. Do yeah, not, not tell that story. Of course, you're, you're not gonna shut coffees a lot, man. Like, as if, man, as if. I don't believe that's the only reason I was sued. Clearly, Logan wanted to sue me for a while, but I believe this new investigation played a role in pulling the trigger. Maybe Logan's team will deny this. Maybe they'll say it's coincidence they sued three hours before a deadline. Maybe it's coincidence I announced a story about Logan six days before, and maybe it's coincidence that Logan's lawyers threatened me about this new story while suing me for the last story that I hadn't discussed in six months. But I don't think so. Either way, when someone threatens new reporting <laughs> in a lawsuit follow, about old boss. reporting, the effect 69. is the same. So, what was this new story? Well, it's partly about a Canadian law enforcement investigation, oh. and it's partly about something I told Logan to help him. Yes, believe it or not, I tried to help Logan Paul. To exp <laughs> I, bro, this is getting deeper and deeper. What? I mean, we need to go back to when CryptoZoo first got exposed. Logan said he was going to sue me, but got backlash. So he called me to apologize. He said, and he was then wrong they said, like, to thank to you for everything and right. shit like that. I made it clear. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. Thank you so much. In Lustrous, you just subscribed. Oops. Thank you. Thank you, Lustrous. Right move going forward. And to my surprise, he agreed. 100%, man. We're on the same page. But we Bro weren't. Fist. Logan now doesn't use the word refund. He calls this a buyback. But at the time, I need you to understand. <gasps> Not a refund, it's a buyback. He calls it a buyback. Bro, stop! Just take the L, brother! Oh my... Just take the L, please! I thought Logan was going to announce a full refund, so I began trying to help him. And dare I say, I was even nice to the guy. You can see that I tried to offer people who might be able to trace blockchain damages to refund people. And in the same spirit, I made Logan aware of potential problems at a different company he co-owned called Liquid oh, shit. Marketplace. On a platform oh, that I co-founded called Liquid Marketplace. It allows co-ownership of top tier assets. So instead of one person, me owning this card, we as a collective can co-own it together. This was a fractionalized collectible platform what? where Logan what? sold things like- what? what? Why would you? That just 100% sounds like a scam. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, like roughly <laughs> half of a $5 million Pokemon card. The idea was you could buy tokens that represented partial ownership in Why? rare collectibles. Uh, that video, by the way, got 8 million views. And a lot wow. of people got into this platform. The problem was, I had heard troubling stories about this company. And I was trying to verify if the claims were true. So I had gone to the CEO, Ryan Bahadori, to ask him questions. But he okay. kept dodging meetings. And I don't <laughs> mean he does. refused meeting with me. I mean, we would set up meetings and then he did not show up. So I was troubled. And I brought... He's about to say, yeah, you, he didn't show up. Thank you. The CEO is about to say coffee didn't show up. <laughs> but I brought this up to Logan. I figured he's going to make one coffee you. right, make them all right. Otherwise, it might come back to bite him. I mean, can you imagine the disaster if another one of Logan Paul's co-founded companies was discovered to have scammed his fans? Hypothetically, that would be a very mm. bad look. So I'm thinking, nah. while he refunds CryptoZoo, Logan can push the CEO to talk with me, and I can figure out the truth. Maybe Logan can fix it if there's something wrong. And you can see Logan responds to me. He says, gonna push Ryan to talk to you. Yo, Logan is one of us, dude. He uses those. Yo, he uses the, the, the cutie, the cutesy smile thing. The happy eyes, the happy eyes. He's one of us. Yo, he's one of us, one of us. <laughs> Again, appreciate it, man. Now, I don't hear back from Ryan or Logan about this, so after a while, I follow up again. I say, let me know if Ryan plans on talking. 
a lot of nasty stories still out there about Liquid Marketplace, embezzlement, etc., and he's dodged meeting me already once. Now, Oof. obviously, the most shocking part of this is the word embezzlement. I need to make it clear. This is mm -hmm. not an accusation. I am not accusing Logan okay. Paul or Liquid Marketplace of okay. wrongdoing. I brought it okay. up in our texts because it is my job to investigate unverified claims. That's the sure. whole point of me wanting okay. to meet okay. with the CEO, but I was stonewalled. Logan never replied, despite me reminding him again via email five months later. I've been trying to reach you by phone for five months. <laughs> that I wanted to talk to Ryan about, quote, embezzlement and, quote, potential fraud. Once again, not accusing anyone of wrongdoing. I'm simply doing my job at the time to chase down rumors and unverified claims. Without concrete proof, I would have never talked about any of this. Yeah. But on June 19th, 2024, I believe it. things changed because the Ontario Securities Commission revealed a liquid marketplace investigation where they accused Liquid Marketplace of being a multi-layered fraud. There taking it is. in $2.7 million there from the sale of these is. fractionalized collectibles. The platform <laughs> allegedly did not do exactly what it promised. Some of the blockchain tokens did not even mint. But even worse was the allegation that approximately $3 million was misappropriated from $10 million they raised of investor funds. This is a what? very similar claim to the one I had tried to verify. Ryan Bahadori, the guy I tried to speak to, was accused of, quote, making hidden payments to shell corporations without any legitimate business purpose, as were two other of the founders. And Ryan was accused of, quote, using company credit cards to buy high-end fashion, expensive jewelry and watches, Yikes. personal health and luxury spa Yikes. services. If only there was someone who could have investigated this sooner. Now, it is if really only. important to say, <laughs> Logan only. Paul is not accused by the OSC. Only three of his co-founders and his company is. But given okay. the history, I had questions. After all, Logan's promotional video about Liquid Marketplace is still up. And the reason many people oh, cared about man. Liquid Marketplace at all was arguably it's because of Logan, Logan Paul. Yeah, so, 8 million views. here were my questions. And as I read this, it's important to correct. I say Liquid Marketplace got accused of embezzlement. Technically, the OSC alleged misappropriation of funds. Those are similar. Okay. They're not the same. So I wanted to correct that. But here's what I asked. Quote, did you take any action on hearing these allegations over a year ago? Did you get approached by the Ontario Securities Commission? And is it true that Liquid Marketplace lied about their claims of insurance, appraisals, and co-ownership as the Ontario Securities Commission alleges? You can see I gave him 24 hours to respond on June 26th at 2.03 p.m. And I was promptly okay. sued June 27th at 11.28 Nah. AM with roughly three hours to spare. Now, I want to be clear. Up. I don't know the answers to the questions I sent. Maybe Logan secretly whistle blew to the OSC when I first went to him. I sus don't know. Timing very That's sus. why you ask questions as a reporter. But now the story is not about those questions. It's about why I was sued immediately after asking them and threatened yeah. if I fuck? reported about Liquid Marketplace in a way they didn't like. This is not what? how I wanted this story to come out because there's still so much we don't know and so much I can't say now for legal reasons. Maybe Logan's yeah. totally innocent. Maybe he surrounded himself with scumbags who defrauded his fans. But it's giving Logan a real bad look. It's a really, really, really bad look. Like, 100% all of us think even less of Logan right now after this. Like, Maybe what? Maybe he'll do a refund for this project. I don't know because I never got the chance to find out. I tried to investigate, but I was stonewalled and sued when I asked questions. Make no mistake though, this investigation is still ongoing. And you can reach me at the email below if you were affected. I will release my full investigation when it's appropriate because even if Logan doesn't want to answer questions, it doesn't mean I have to stop asking them. So in okay. summary, Logan's lawsuit is not about my original reporting into CryptoZoo. Even if you take this lawsuit on its own without context, it's an argument over Logan not refunding victims in full. It's Logan insisting really he's bad. not to blame. It's all his business partner's fault. But I don't think that aligns with the publicly known facts. That's my opinion. For years, Logan has controlled CryptoZoo, and yet the game is still not out. 
Logan is now blaming the government but it's for coming. that instead of himself. And he also blames me Imagine. for losing his good reputation, but you can't lose something you never had. Not to Oof. mention- Oof. Oh! Oh! Tell him. Fucking tell him. Logan is arguably richer than ever, and he's on the record finding my reporting thorough and good-hearted. So this defamation lawsuit feels frivolous even on the surface. But if you dig deeper, there's an even more compelling story, which yeah, I yeah, yeah. It's the motherfucking Eagle Double G. Snoop Dogg! Belief. <laughs> where the goal is to crush new investigations while taking revenge on old ones. In this version, Logan might not even care about winning. Legal battles True. are expensive. And in the world of money, he's got me beat. So he can try to silence me by weaponizing the law. He can sue me for doing my job. He can sue me for asking questions and he can sue me for asking for refunds. But it's going to backfire because I think it reveals Logan as a bully rather yep. than someone who's truly sorry. Yep. Because Logan may be a master at convincing people he's changed, but I'm convinced it's the follow through where things go wrong. The only people he's convincing he's changed is children. That's the only ones. And that's the only one he needs for his YouTube income and for that prime income because it's only children who fucking care about him, man. Like, the adults don't fucking believe it. You know, the actually changing part. There was a time where even I believed Logan was gonna fully refund victims. That's why I was so nice to him and tried to help despite him threatening to sue me. But when it came time to pay up, Logan chose a minority refund and to fight the rest of the victims in court who wanted their money. That is so crazy. That is beyond crazy, man. What a scumbag. And when I complained about that, Logan went from sorries and thank yous to lawyers and I'm suing you real quick. The irony is it was that same Yikes. initial belief in Logan's capacity to change that also made me bring up Liquid Marketplace to help stop potential problems. And yet here we are. The company is now accused of being a multi-layered fraud by the OSC. And the CEO, who I tried to talk to multiple times, is alleged to have misappropriated money. This is despite mm. me trying to talk to Logan directly many times as he asked. Maybe we could have talked about this if you had reached Maybe. out to me. Hmm. Hmm. Personally, not my manager, Jeff, who is not me, me, Steven. Well, I me. did try to reach out personally and I got sued and threatened a day later. That I think <laughs> says a lot about that Logan's supposed enough. change and his belief in accountability. Maybe the person enough. he really believes in accountability for is not himself, but me. Specifically, when I try to get accountability from him. If you want to support this lawsuit, the best way Jesus is coffeezilla.store. You have 14 days. Or you can support on Patreon. Thank you for listening there you go, and chat. have a nice day. Insane. Insane. Oh, those are some nice shirts. Also, awesome, nice shirts.